Prime Time. The TSA says it's looking into a story we broke last night at 11 o'clock. A veteran flight attendant who was asked to show her prosthetic breast to TSA agents while she was on her way to work. She spoke exclusively with our Molly Grantham. Quite the talker story today. Molly. It certainly has been. Paul, she's a breast cancer survivor, a three-year survivor. During a pat-down, TSA agents said they wanted to see her breast. She had to show it to them. It felt funny when they did the pat-down. Next thing she says, she was half-naked in front of a TSA agent, all just trying to get to work. Just because you choose to... Um, travel by airplane doesn't mean that you you're putting yourself up you know for people to abuse you kathy bossy is now on a plane to london for her job she's a flight attendant has been for 32 years in early august she was on her way to work when charlotte douglas was still rolling out its new airport security measures she was chosen to go through the body scanner the screener had told me to put my id behind my back so they could film me. As a breast cancer survivor, she didn't want that added radiation, but she went through anyway. When I got out of there, she said that because my ID was on my back, I had to go to a personal screening area. It was there two female TSA agents felt her right breast, the one where she'd had surgery. She put her full hand on my breast and said, what is this? And I said, it's a prosthesis because I've had breast cancer. And she goes, well, you'll need to show me that. So that's when I had to pull it out and show her the prosthesis. To be clear, Kathy was asked to show her breasts, to remove her breast from her bra. TSA agents did not touch it. But to be standing there half naked, shirt open, was shameful enough for this employee who says she was just trying to get to work. I did not take the name of the person at the time because it was just so horrific of an experience that it just blew my mind. I, I, couldn't underst I, I couldn't believe that somebody had done that to me. By talking with us last night, the story is really getting out there. Kathy hopes it ends up changing mm. TSA policy. That's what she says. Right now, TSA policy says agents are allowed to see and touch prosthetics, but not remove them. So technically, this might have been in policy, which she says, Paul, is just outrageous. She was in her uniform. She was trying to get to work. She's been mm -hmm. checked by the FBI anyway. They all do background checks on flight attendants because they go through so much security. And they told her to put her, pad, uh, her uh, pass on her back, yes. send her through, and then say, right. because the pass is on the back, now you have to have the pass. She now. said it was just a mess from step one, and then when it got to that <laughs> point, she was so stunned she had no idea what to do or say. Ought to be some dispensation for flight attendants and pilots who are just going to work, as you pointed out. Molly, thank you. Certainly outrageous. And the new TSA pat-down procedures are facing pushback from travelers. Some travelers complain that screeners are getting too touchy-feely. Even the head of the TSA says the new pat-downs are invasive, but also says it's a matter of safety. Passengers are threatening to protest at airports across the country next week. On the Internet, there is talk of national opt-out day, the day before Thanksgiving. Travelers would refuse the body scanners, causing nightmarish backups at security checkpoints during the already busy travel season. Up